Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm just on the uh, Stroudwater navigation on the Cotswold Canal Network. I'm walking away from uh, Ocean, which is just behind me. It's the railway bridge, it was quite famous. I've uh, done a video on that section if you uh, want to take a look, I'll, I'll put a link in. So I'm just by St. Sire's Church, I think I pronounced that right. It's on the edge of Stone House, it's an absolutely stunning. Uh, stunning spot on, on the side of the canal. I don't think there's many better views actually of the churches that I've seen. We're using Real Maps Online again today to show where we are. It's a huge thank you to Matthew Bromley for allowing us to use it and to Chris Lowe for designing the canal side. We finished up on the last video just on Ocean Bridge, just here, just on the edge of Stonehouse. We're going to take a look up through from there, up through Nutshell Bridge, right up to the A419 Ebley Bypass. <laughs> This house is the oldest part of the church, which was built in the 14th century. It in includes six bells, four of which date from 1636, and the other two are around 1703. It was rebuilt in 1854 by Henry Crisp of Bristol and built in the same style as the former church building. The chancel was raised on the foundations of the former chancel. Right next to the church is Nutshell House and Bridge. I'm approaching this from the wrong side really for, for footage but the drone will show you it from the other side as well as when I get through. It's a very picturesque bridge and house in a good area for that with the church and stuff behind. It's quite famous as a stone house landmark. No one really knows why it's called Nutshell Bridge. It was called Mr Hill's Bridge originally and it was built around 1778. They own the bridge and land to either side of the canal on the south side. But Edward Hill owned Lower Mills, which is just, just down from here. You can see the house behind me now. He built a, a nutshell cottage on the company's land to the west of the bridge in about 1803. And in 1804 permission he built a warehouse on the east side of the bridge and bought the land on which both buildings stand. There was once a hoist there coming out of the side of the building. Mm. So Edward Hill died in 1816 and the warehouse was converted to a dwelling. Uh, the chimney is date March 1827.
lovely clear straight stretch here nice and wide it's on the edge of Stonehouse we're approaching the uh, we're approaching the main road now which comes across the bypass it's nice to see boats on here though We've got a narrow boat there as well as a couple of boats moored up there which I expect to use helps keep these clear when they're, when they're not in uh, in full use it's, I don't think it's far off from this section being open but any boats running up here would be a big help so we're approaching a new bridge just a Stonehouse Canal Bridge it's nothing more than that it was uh, built by as part of a road improvement scheme by Gloucestershire County Council also known as Bridge End Bridge or Downton Road Bridge. So I have a couple more work boats up here. A lot of the boats are painted that purple colour, purpley pinky colour, which is the colour of the trust. We're at Upper Mills Bridge, also known as Brushworks Bridge, or has been known as. It was a spring bridge when the canal was in use, but in the, in the late 60s, they gave permission for a bridge to be replaced with a wider fixed steel and reinforced concrete structure. This was to give better access to the Upper Mills Industrial Star site. And in 2010, work started to construct a high level fixed bridge. They didn't replace it as a swing bridge because it's so close to the junction which you can see here and they were worried about it's uh and they're, they're being back up a traffic onto it there's a winding hole just on the end here the canal was actually uh was moved slightly to the north you can kind of see it by the alignment there and the, the bridge is kind of over here and the, the line would, would originally come straight through here rather than uh, setting off Just on the edge of this uh, winding hole is the uh, is a former boathouse with a Whitecliffe College. 
it fell into disrepair when the canal became unusable which has obviously been reversed since 2010 2011 when it was when it was uh, opened up here the college now have a boathouse at Sole Junction on the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal so just getting to the end of this video we're just at Skewell Railway Bridge named for obvious reasons it skews across the railway at an angle it's got quite odd supports to it Once carried the Nailsworth branch of the Midlands Railway. It had five stations along its length Stonehouse, Ryford, Dudbridge, Woodchester, and Nailsworth. Passengers, passenger traffic was ended in 1947, but carried on carrying freight trains until 1966 when the track was removed. It's now quite a popular uh, cycle path, as a lot of old railways are, and takes you down uh, towards Nailsworth. I might do a video on it one day, it's a, it's a lovely route I keep uh, meaning to go down there. It was uh, designed by engineer James Ferriby uh, and built in 1867. The Ferriby family lived in Frupp, which is uh, just down the road around the Phoenix Works, which was a um, they made lawnmowers and they made the first adjustable spanner, I believe. And the last bridge here for this video is the Haywards Bridge, which we're under now. This was built in 1993. It didn't remove any barriers. There was nothing here originally. Uh, it, was a, it was a new bypass the Ebley Bypass, and it was good proof that the canal restoration was was, was credible because it was that they built this culvert and bridge to full standards for boats. So thank you for watching. Please click that like and subscribe, and also the bell to see my future videos. Also, I'll put links in for the website for Cotswold Canal Trust. Get on there and join up as members goes a long way to these trusts for your membership not just for financial gains from the from the membership but also for for getting funding and stuff the more members the more likely you are to get funding they've done a fantastic job down here it's really good to see have a good day mm -hmm.